Are you searching for a pet? Are you ready for a commitment of a longtime best friend? Keep watching this video if you want to find out if guinea pigs are the right pet for you. Also, if you have not done so already, go check out our Instagram where we post adorable pictures of the guinea pigs and also updates. Let's get started with the video. Guinea pigs live four to eight years and some even longer than that. They come in all different breeds and colors and a wide range of personalities. Guinea pigs have a very distinctive appearance. They have little stout bodies with no tail and a large head with large and alert eyes. Their calm and docile nature has led them to becoming one of the most commonly kept household pets all around the world. The first question to ask yourself are, are you ready for the commitment? Guinea pigs live four to even eight or nine years. So think about your age and how old you are now. Where will you be in four or even eight years? Will you still be able to take care of your guinea pigs? Or maybe you'll be in high school or even college. Think about the future and where you would be. The next question to ask yourself is how much money am I willing to spend on my guinea pigs? Guinea pigs do go to the vet and you need to take them to the vet if they are sick. These vet bills can range from $100 to even $500. The older your guinea pigs will get, the more vet visits that you need. Besides the vet bills, you are going to need to buy them some hay and veggies frequently, along with other supplies. Sometimes hay can get quite expensive depending on the quality of the hay. Guinea pigs need to be eating hay 24-7, which means they always need access to hay. So make sure you can afford to take your guinea pig to the vet and provide them with fresh hay and veggies. The next question is, are you planning on at least getting two? Guinea pigs are social animals and need to be with their own kind. They love to hang out with each other and eat hay. Having more than one guinea pig is comforting for them and helps them become less timid. Having two guinea pigs is almost the same as having one when it comes to the amount of food that they eat and the amount of space that they take up. It is important to have at least two guinea pigs, and honestly, it is more fun to watch more guinea pigs interact with each other. Guinea pigs have multiple different personalities and it's so much fun to watch them play. Another question to ask yourself is how much space will I have for my guinea pigs? Guinea pigs should be housed in a cage in a populated area in your house. Their cage should be bigger than you might think, too. The minimum requirement for two guinea pigs is 7.5 square feet. I believe 10 square feet is better because with guinea pigs, the bigger, the better. When guinea pigs have a bigger cage, they have a better chance of getting along. This means that the cages that you see in the pet stores are not big enough for guinea pigs. Some cage suggestions are the CNC cage, which stands for cubes and chloroplasts, and the Midwest cage. You could also create your own as long as it meets the requirements. It is important that guinea pigs live in a large cage so they can get their exercise and feel like they have enough room to live. The next question to ask yourself is, are you ready for the challenge? Guinea pigs are very timid animals because they are prey. Whenever you reach down and grab your guinea pigs, they associate with you with being a hawk. Your job as a guinea pig owner is to help them become tame and get used to you. There are so many different taming videos and ways to tame your guinea pigs on YouTube, so go check those videos out. I also do have one of these videos, so if you want to go check out my video, please go do so. Guinea pigs take time and patience, so it is important that you have both in order for your guinea pigs to trust you. The next question you have to ask yourself is, are you ready to pick up a mess? Guinea pigs are very messy animals. Guinea pigs poop around 10 to 20 times per hour per guinea pig, and you have to be prepared to pick up their mess. I do a thing for my guinea pigs called spot cleaning, which basically means that I pick up their poop one to two times per day, which keeps their cage nice and fresh. You should be cleaning your guinea pig's cage at least once a week, if not more. This is because if they sit in their own urine and poop, they can get sick. So as a guinea pig owner, be prepared for lots of poop and lots of hay all over the place. Another question you have to ask yourself is how much time do you have per day? As I said before, guinea pigs are messy and you have to clean up their cage every day. Along with cleaning up their mess, guinea pigs are going to need some attention. Guinea pigs are going to need to be held often and given plenty of attention. This is how you are going to tame your guinea pig. 
You need to spend lots of time with them in order for them to trust you. You need to spend a minimum of 20 minutes with your guinea pigs per day. And this is not including cleaning their cage. This is actually interacting with your guinea pigs, which might include hand feeding them or even holding them in your lap. If you are considering guinea pigs, they have such wonderful personalities and are so much fun. Guinea pigs love to interact with their owners once they trust them and your hard work pays off. Their personalities are almost identical to a cat or dog's personality. Guinea pigs are also really smart and they do follow your routines. In my opinion, I've been owning guinea pigs for a long time and they are wonderful pets to have. I hope this video helped you decide whether guinea pigs are the right pet for you. If you decide on getting guinea pigs, please consider subscribing to my channel and also comment down below your story about how you got your guinea pigs. I would love to hear all of the ways that you decided to get guinea pigs. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it is really appreciated. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!